guys, today's video we're going to be making a headband that you can wear both two different ways. So it's not reversible. It has a uh, stockinette stitch on one side and a garter stitch on the other. Um, and I have my needles. I'm using connected needles size 13. Yep, but you can use flat needles and I'll explain how to use those as well. Um, so we have our yarn and this is Malabrigo yarn. It's actually the first time I've ever heard of this brand, but um, I love it. The colorway is so unique, so beautiful. It has some purple, some grays, some blues, some like stark whites. It is so beautiful for this type of year. And it's super chunky and super fluffy, which once again, best part of <laughs> winter is that you can wear chunky stuff. So as you can see, I am casting on, I'm casting on 51 stitches. That is how much fits my head. Um, feel free to cast on more or less depending on your si head size or whoever you're making it for. So you can customize this, which is the best part of most knitting <laughs> and crochet and making your own stuff is you can make it the way you want it. So I just cast on 51 stitches personally. Now that all my stitches are cast on, we're going to connect our work. Um, but before that, especially if you're connecting your work, I want you to make sure that all your stitches are facing the same way and that they're aligned. I pull, personally put mine towards the center. I don't really think that it matters. Now we're going to uh, knit the first stitch and then bring the first casted on stitch that we made with the uh, tail and just bring that over and that is how you connect your work. So if you've never worked in the round before, this is a great um, pattern to do so, to just like learn and practice. And if you're still not there yet, however, feel free to just work on plain needles. The pattern for that is almost as easy. <laughs> um, you would be knitting your first row and right now we are just knitting around as you can see. So the first round, uh, I suggest using a stitch marker, by the way. Uh, the first round is just knit across. Uh, if you're working in the round, you're just going to knit the entire time. Whereas if you are knitting flat, you're going to knit one row and the even rows are going to be purled. That is how you get the exact same effect. Um, but because I'm working in the round, I'm just going to keep knitting around. Um, and every couple stitches or so, I make sure that all my stitches are facing the right way so that my work doesn't curl or flip or do some weird thing. <laughs> um, but yes, so because I'm working in the round, I just want to reiterate this, I will be knitting each round. Um, and I knit for 10 rounds. So it is 10 rounds of work. Yes, so um, once again, feel free to make it thicker or thinner. I chose to make it pretty thick up on my head. I, I think I have a really small head because I don't think it looks that big, but it's huge on my head. So uh, I, I wanted to showcase how chunky the yarn is, so I wanted to make it really big. Yeah, um, but once again, you can customize it. You can make it flat, you can make it in the round. This is the best project for everyone, and it just looks so nice. And I love that you can wear it two different ways. Um, I also don't have to worry about putting it on the right way, quote unquote. Um, yeah, so the colorway is beautiful. Like, it just changes colors so nicely. Um, I love the effect that it gives on the final product, and I hope you guys do as well. So we're almost done, as you can tell right about now. <laughs> um, so we are just casting off. This is my 10th row round, that thing. And I'm just casting off my stitches. Um, this is how I choose to cast off. Let me know, I can make a video on casting off if you guys aren't aware of that as well. So it's pretty useful. and. Um, we're on our last stitch and I'm just going to grab some scissors 
I'm going to cut the yarn and then I'm going to weave in the ends. So I cut the yarn and here is our final product. Here's the first way. Beautiful. And the second way. <laughs> Just as beautiful. And I think I like this one more for a chunky winter look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like my video, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.